Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to show you my very basic Rockman Clean emulation that I've put together for the FM3. And we're going to take that and build upon it to make a clean to mean preset with seamless switching. To get started, I have my PRS Custom 24, which is set on the rotary position number four. And I want you to hear the clean DI of this guitar to get started. So I'm starting with a pretty sparkly sounding guitar. Now, what I did was I actually got my old Rockman headphone amplifier, set it on the clean two mode, and I did a tone match using the Axe FX3. I do have a tone match tutorial on my YouTube channel if you'd like to learn more about it. But long story short, this is what the tone match EQ curve looked like. And that to me immediately looked like a kind of tilt EQ. And we have a tilt EQ in the filter block. Now, I could have exported that tone match and loaded it in a cab block on the FM3. That would probably be the most accurate way to get that sound. But a filter block is going to use far less CPU. And setting this filter block to a tilt EQ, to my ears anyway, gets incredibly close. So let's do this. Let's drop a filter block onto the grid. Let's drop a compressor after the filter. And let's drop a chorus onto the grid. I'm going to bypass the chorus to get started. And let's do this with the compressor. To me, that classic Rockman 80s clean is heavily compressed. So we're going to use this Studio Feed Forward compressor. We're going to set the ratio to eight. Let's have a listen to what the compressor does. The filter at the moment isn't doing anything. So very, very squishy, very 80s so far. The settings that I found get pretty close to the Rockman Clean 2 mode on here are a tilt EQ with a frequency at 1600 Hertz and about 10 dB of gain. What I'm going to do here is actually just pull out the level on the compressor to about minus six, just so we're not clipping. Let's have a listen to this now. This is going to be super bright and sparkly. It almost sounds like a acoustic guitar with a piezo pickup in it. The other part of the Rockman sound is the chorus. Now, we're not limited to just a single chorus switch on the Axe FX3. You can use any chorus you like. I have two particular favorites. This analog stereo at stock settings sounds amazing to me. My other favorite choice for an 80s style thing is the Dimension 2 on here. Let's bring that one up and let's set the rate to 0.5 hertz. A little more of a subtle chorus style on here. Let's hear that. I will put this Rockman inspired preset up on Axchange. But after doing this, what I realized, this would let us really easily seamlessly switch between an amp and cab block and this particular clean sound if you do need that seamless switch live. This Rockman sound on its own, you know, it does sound of the era, the era being the 80s. But because it is so bright and sparkly, it actually sits in a general mix pretty well and it does have that kind of pseudo acoustic guitar quality. So let's do this. Let's add a few extra blocks in here. I'm going to add a multiplexer down here to do the switching and I'm going to add an amp and a cab block on here. Very, very straightforward stuff. You can choose whichever amp and cab you like on here, but I'm probably going to go for my favorite being the USA lead mid gain and I'm going to use my own cabinet IR. What we need to do with the multiplexer is this. I want this first scene to be on channel A of the multiplexer and I want it to be my clean. So this is on the second row. Let's set this to row two. Let's go to channel B on the multiplexer and set it to row three, which is gonna be this bottom row and a better 
add this connection in here so everything works. All right, let's do this. Go back to channel A. We will name this one clean and we can hit save on that. Then we'll go to channel two and we can set it to channel B. I can call it mean and we can hit save there. What I'm going to do is just drop in some blocks from my library for these settings. I do have separate Tuesday Tone Tip videos talking about stuff like the USA lead mid gain, which you can check out. But thanks to the magic of television, here's my dirty sound on scene two. <laughs> And if I go back to scene one, I have my chorus clean. really, really well, I would encourage you to use the leveling tool. If you go tools, preset leveling in here, you can bring up a little menu that will let you balance out all your scenes. I've done a little bit more work with this particular preset that gives me three scenes and I'll put this preset up on Axchange. I've actually used a delay block for the chorus in here. So I've got my main clean sound, then I will switch over to those USA lead mid gain settings for the mean sound. And then we've got scene three, which is a meaner sound, which uses control switches per scene to activate the input boost and the fat switch, and it engages another delay. So let's hear each of those. I will play you all out with this example. Like I said, I'll put a link to the preset in the video description. If you have any other questions, please let me know, and I will see you all next Tuesday for another Tuesday Tone Tip.